Right opposition Free National Movement leader Michael Pindart holding a virtual press conference today to chastise the Davis administration on a number of issues like not releasing the fiscal strategy report as required by law and the official cost of last year's trip to Bermuda. Pintard, though, noted that the opposition is demanding what portion of the $232.8 million worth of International Monetary Fund special drawing rights held a part of the external reserves of the central bank has been advanced and how it was spent. The assets that they are drawing on are central bank's assets. And this is precisely why they must now go uh, to Parliament and amend the law to permit them to have access to central bank assets. The problem they are having, and they must not get away with, is they have already access a portion of those assets, contrary to the law and the laws of the Bahamas. Well, the Ministry of Finance made it clear in a release that the government is not borrowing from the central bank and creating money. Instead, the government is using resources provided by the International Monetary Fund legitimately. Finance officials clarify that the IMF issued $650 billion in special drawing rights in August 2021 to assist countries worldwide with fiscal and monetary policy initiatives in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Bahamas received an allocation of these SDRs as a shareholder, which could include debt management, as well as external reserve rebuilding, depending on the prevailing domestic circumstances and priorities. The statement went on to say that while the use of SDRs creates a liability to the central bank, it is only because the Central Bank Act doesn't accommodate SDR use in the manner prescribed by the IMF. It should be noted that while the government's broad debt management objectives continue to focus on minimizing the cost and risk of death, the financing strategy borrowing plan could vary based on prevailing global conditions. Government plans to soon amend the Central Bank Act in Parliament to codify the terms established in Governing Memorandum of Understanding.